Welcome back guys to the F1 Championship Edition career, the final season. We're here for round 11 of the championship here at the Grand Prix of France here in Manicor. In my opinion, just a quick note that that this circuit, it should have been Manicor, not Paul Ricard for the French Grand Prix because I prefer Manicor to any other French circuit apart from Le Mans. But anyway, beside that, we're here for round 11 like I said the championship between me and Alonso is three points after the US Grand Prix and you'll notice I'm not in the top 10 Felipe Massa is on the front row again Kimi Raikkonen is on pole for McLaren I'm not in the top 10 that's where I am in 12th knocked out in Q2 in France our bad run continues um, hopefully we can do better than we did in the US Grand Prix I'm gonna run quite a lot of fuel to nearly the end of the Grand Prix so um, let's have a look I'll, I'll put around yeah lap about lap 5 with two laps to go here we go one of my favorite circuits as well on the Formula 1 calendar I really do like the Manicor circuit it's a good circuit and uh, the sad thing is is we're in 12th and we've got to get through this mess and we've got Villeneuve ahead of us so yeah Schumacher's got the lap record here 15-3 although we have beaten that before we won here last season in a Honda. It's going to be a bit difficult to win here in the in the Ferrari though, but uh, I'm going to give it one hell of a try. Okay, so we are racing here in France. As can we get off? We got off to a good start there. Well, relatively good start. We go alongside Heitfeld. Can we go around the outside of Barry Kello? Got. I, I don't want to be running into other cars. We've just tagged the back of a Toyota. Somebody's out. I don't really know who it is. Is it? I don't know. But uh, can we get up the inside of Barrichello? We, this is going to be dangerous to try and get up the inside here into this hairpin. I'm trying to make a move on Villeneuve. We hit him. No damage though. We. Okay. Somebody's looking down on us today. To get through that, we no damage. Just lift off early through here, then take the yeah, take it like that, and then up the inside of Villeneuve. Not quite. Oh. Yes, he, he opens the door though, late on he opens the door and we get past the Canadian, the 97 world champion, into P7, okay, this this could work out. This could work out, we got a good run through there on Montoya, up the inside and on our former teammate Jensen Button, up to P5, get in there and look, it's Fernando Alonso, we can win this Grand Prix. Here we go, we're fighting back in France. So at the end of the first lap, we're, down, we're up to P5 from 12th. So that's about seven cars we've overtaken. There we go, another good run through there. If we can put a clean few more, few, few more clean laps together, we should be okay. Here we go. On the brakes for the hairpin. Heavy on the brake. Oh, okay, Alonso still fighting for fourth. But we get past Fernando. I know I'm driving superbly. It's because I'm using all my focus to not crash into other cars and pick his way through the traffic. And I'm very good. And the AI are shit in France. I did indeed as we can we get up the inside of Felipe Massa like we did with Jensen it's close with our teammate and yes we're asserting our dominance at Ferrari up into P3 after well not even two laps have been completed sliding oh no that's not good no 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 Alonso has hit the back of us there that's not good at all yep okay we can still recover, don't worry, we can still win this race. We could have, we've got some clear air as long as we just keep it together. Alonso did hit us, but he's got no damage, but he's a, well, behind Montoya now. Is that Fizzy Keller passing a McLaren? No, they're getting very close though, Mon uh, Raikkonen and Fizzy are. And I'm just running off all over the place. I shouldn't be, but I am.
As long as we take back the Championship League going into Germany, I'm okay with that. I don't think we're going to be catching the cars ahead anytime soon, though. Although, having said that, it might be... It might be good for us to... No, we, we're going to stay out, but it might be good for us just to probably knuckle down now. Especially when Fissy Keller dives off into the pit lane. Yeah, I, I do too. It could have been... Oh, never mind. Villeneuve is fifth. Nice. Come on, James, get your fucking lines right. Yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult to win this Grand Prix now, but but from 12 to maybe pro possibly on a podium, that might be his next step. I didn't even anticipate trying to win the Grand Prix at the start, but. I know it will. You don't need to tell me I've been caught out by signs of wear before. Well, not signs of wear, wear before. So, somebody's messaged me on Facebook. Okay, so we are into the lead of the French Grand Prix. Okay, this is going well, or relatively well. But we're pitting this lap, pitting this lap. We've got a good lead, but I don't. That's not going to be enough, I don't think, between us and uh, Raikkonen. I will stop at the end of this lap. I'm not going to forget, am I? Okay, that's good through there. Come on. Keep it steady. We could still actually... I'm actually still looking at this and we could, uh, we could actually win this. Actually, I don't know because... No, I, I don't think so. We, we might be able to, to fight for, for maybe a, a win, but... I don't think winning is an option. Look at that, eight second exactly. Okay, so there's Raikkonen going by. We could actually... Okay, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight with the, McL well, with the McLaren. Look at that. Look at how we did that, yes. Oh, we, no, no. Look how we almost threw it away again. Yes, we're in second. Yes, look at this. Oh, Raikkonen gets on the brake slightly. Okay, this is this is going to be good racing. We could still actually win this Grand Prix even after a spin as well. From 12th to a spin to possibly a win. It just goes to show how either how bad the AI are at France or how much I've actually raced at France. But to be perfectly honest, uh, I did secure the Ferrari seat here in... You know, before the preseason, or be well, before the season, as we go to the inside of Raikkonen now, what a move to take the lead! But yeah, I did actually uh, secure the Ferrari seat here at France, which I did countless and countless laps. I could race this circuit in my sleep with how many laps I did. So there's no really no surprise that I am running okay, although I've made a few mistakes in this Grand Prix. That nearly was the biggest mistake of the of the season, to be fair. Spinning it on the last lap after you take the race lead. Like 
was in the lead earlier. He was in the lead earlier. Heavy on the brakes, down into the hairpin. It's a good move. We're still ahead of Kimi. We've got Massa behind him. Uh, well, our teammate in third. This is going to be another double Ferrari podium. Well, it should be if everything stays the way it is. And if it all stays together, this will be the third Grand Prix in a row that's been won by Ferrari. I won Canada. Massa won in, in the US because I blew up, basically. And, uh, yeah, and we should be able to hold on to win the final French Grand Prix of this career. Okay, here we are, rounding the final chicane now to win the French Grand Prix. After qualifying in 12th position, there is Fernando Alonso on Renault's home turf coming in behind his teammate, I think in like P5, or P6, sorry. So, the top three are Smith, Raikkonen and Massa. Massa finished three seconds off the lead after we qualified in 12th. Fantastic. Uh, Button in fourth, uh, Fisichella and Alonso fifth and sixth on, on home turf for the Renault team. Trulli, Montoya, Villeneuve, Ralf Schumacher and Scott Speed in 11th. And um, yeah, Kleon, Heifelt, Rosberg, who will qualify 13th, Rosberg did I think. Uh, Weber, Montero, Sato, Liuzzi, Albers, Ide, Barrichello and Coulthard finished. Well, didn't finish, they retired as we take the lead by four points over Fernando Alonso. Can we get a Ferrari 1-2 in the driver's standings? Button's now moved ahead of his teammate. Villeneuve is still yet to score. Kleon has got one point this season. And there's still quite a few drivers yet to score. And Ferrari, we have increased our lead over Ferrari after taking two podium finishers today. So yeah, it's been a good Grand Prix here in France. Absolutely fantastic. Well, there we have it. We have won in France once again. And now we go on to the German Grand Prix. What do we get there for fantastic performance? Yeah, 10 points in the bag. Certainly, we wasn't the class of the field, but what a race that was. I'm not going to apply for BMW Sauber. Really not. I'm going to stay with Ferrari. So, yes, the championship standings is now overturned from three points to four. Um... Yeah, we're doing very well, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely could, we're definitely in strong position to win the championship now, of course. But then again, Massa is still there. Montoya's dropping off the pace slightly, but Massa is right there, and I don't really know. Um, and, uh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good uh, final few races. It's going to be round 12 next time, though. Fernando Alonso won there last time in the German Grand Prix, so can he win again, or can we can we try to take back-to-back -back Grand Prix wins, and for the first time in Germany. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in Hockenheim.